Hi friends, uh, in this tutorial I am uh, going to be creating a script to encrypt a string using the AES encryption algorithm. So for those of you who follow my channel, you might know that I've already created a tutorial for this script, but that was in Python 2. So what I will be doing in this one is that I will be doing the same thing, but this time I am doing it in Python 3. So it's kind of different, the concept is the same, but uh, just a few syntax differences. Uh, so let's get started. For this, okay, let me open my Atom text editor. I will create this in desktop and call it aes.py. So the first thing that we are going to be doing is to import the uh, from crypto.cypher import aes. So what we will be doing is that we will import the aes, uh, sorry, the crypto cipher or the aes uh, module. So what this is, is the AES is the function of this crypto module. So we are importing it. And after that, what we do is that uh, let's create a key. So remember the key has to be uh, 16 or 24 or 32 bytes. So it must be one of those three. So 16 byte key. This should be 16 bytes. So let's see one, two, three, seven. Uh, 7 plus 4 11 11 cross 3 14 and 2 spaces 16 so this is 16 it's good so the thing is that uh, the important thing is that uh, so let me comment it key has to be either 16 24 or 32 bits so this is 16 uh, sorry not bits bytes so this is 16 bytes this is good now let's uh, create a text that you want to uh, encrypt. So this has to be in um, secrets. So this is my secrets and it is 16 bytes. So the thing is that, uh, remember this, uh, that uh, plain text has to be in multiples of 16 bytes. So this should be 16 bytes. So this is seven, seven, eight, nine, nine plus 514 and two spaces 16. So uh, now the important thing is that uh, this way what it does is that uh, you have to count it and make sure it is 16 bytes or 24 or 32 bytes. Now that uh, now in the next uh, tutorial what I will create I will create a function called padding. Uh, no, you can call it anything you want but uh, so this function what it will do is that it will take the key and the plain text from the user and what it will do is that if it is not in the multiples of 16, what it will do is that it will pad it with empty strings. So you don't have to make sure that your key or your uh, string is in 16 bytes. So at that time you can type in anything you want and the com the uh, what the function will do is that it will pad, the, pad that string with empty spaces. It will add the empty spaces at the end of the, of the string. Now, so that is for the next one and this one I'm just uh, creating this one so that uh, you can understand how it is and how the plain version of it works and uh, now how do we do that so let's get another variable called cipher and this time you're using the AES function and you're saying new key so you're creating a new key using this so we are creating a new cipher using this key that we have so this is the plain text this is what we will be encrypting now the cipher text, what will be the cipher text? So cipher text is equal to cipher dot encrypt. And then what we will do is that we will encrypt plain. So we are creating the cipher text variable. We are using the cipher, which we created in here, the cipher. Now what we will do is that we will encrypt. So we are using this encrypt functional function or method and you're passing in this plain variable which holds this string six secrets 16 bytes so what it will do is that it will encrypt that data using this cipher which we declared in here after that what we do is that we print it so if you do something like print cipher text now what we do is let's save it once we save this let's go to click one line and Let's go to desktop and python3 aes.py. If you run it, 
now you can see that this the, this thing that you can see in here this is the um, ciphertext the encrypted version of this text that we put in here 16 secret uh, secret 16 bytes so what it did was that it used this key and oh, it encrypted it now how to decrypt it now in order to decrypt it what we have to do is that we have to use this cipher and then we have to decrypt it uh, decrypt what the cipher text and you can let's get decrypt plain text and let's print it so this in here we have created this plain text variable so again we are using this cipher that we created in here and this previously we encrypted it this in here now we are saying decrypted so previously when we encrypted it what did we encrypt we encrypted this plane which holds our plain text now we are saying decrypt however so decrypt what you can't, you can't decrypt the plain text so we are saying decrypt the cipher text which we printed in here which is this this one so we are saying decrypt it and store its result in this variable called plain text so let's save it and run it now you can see that it not only prints the encrypted string which is the same as the above by the way it also what it does is that it prints the decrypted text which is the same as this one secrets 16 bytes so this is it for this tutorial guys uh, in the next tutorial what i will do is that i will add some more functionality to it that will what it will do is that it will pad this um, plain text and also the password or the cipher text that you will be the cipher that you will be typing the secret so if you want to learn that uh, watch my next tutorial and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one